In Wisconsin's fight over abortion rights has a new epicenter, and it's the city of Sheboygan. A day after Planned Parenthood says they will resume operations and or abortions in the city, the Sheboygan County DA says he's taken the fight to the state Supreme Court. Fox 6's Stephanie Quirk joins us now from the newsroom. Steph? Yeah, that's right. Well, the judge did rule that a state law from 1849 is not a ban on abortions. It appears the final say could be up to the state Supreme Court. Freedom wins, equality wins, and women's health wins. A major victory for abortion rights advocates. The Dane County Circuit Court issued its final judgment that the 1849 law does not prohibit abortions in Wisconsin. The 19th century law became reactivated after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, effectively ending abortion services in the state. Until yesterday. Began the process of restoring access to safe and legal abortion. Now Planned Parenthood plans to resume services at all of its locations. They can treat their patients um, as they need to without being fearful um, that they could be prosecuted. While services are already available in Dane and Milwaukee counties. Resuming services in Sheboygan is an absolute priority for us. But not everyone in Sheboygan County is on board. Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Ermanski announced plans to appeal the decision. While the ruling determined the statue only applied to feticide, Ermanski issued a statement saying he believes it does in fact apply to abortions. Groups like Wisconsin Right to Life say they're also not backing down from the fight. For the loss of protection for uh, preborn life here in the state. Meanwhile, both sides of the aisle are anticipating a long road ahead. And it's likely the trajectory of this case will play out in the days and weeks ahead. Reporting in the newsroom, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News. Stephanie, thank you.